So with 6,000 guys in BC on PrEP, why have we not seen a larger decrease in new HIV infections? Yeah, I think that's the million dollar question really that we have to start to look at. And I think part of it is really, I think in the next few months, trying to get some better data from Vancouver Coastal and BC CDC, who've really been focusing a lot on COVID to say, who are the people still becoming infected in 2020? You know, we're two years into our PrEP program, you know, what, what's, what, who are you missing? I see a lot of people that are, are newly infected and I would say a, a fair number of people are uh, either coming here from other provinces, not yet in tune with the healthcare system here and become infected. We've definitely seen more uh, infections early this year in terms of injection drug use. And I think that's a lot of people getting disenfranchised and disconnected because of, of COVID, but we don't have all the data for this year. I think we also have to focus a bit on crystal meth because I feel like that's driving some of the infections that we're seeing a bit. Uh, and people there also are really not engaged in, in knowing about PrEP or knowing about uh, sexual health services in general. So I think it's gonna be one of these moving target things, which is every year we're gonna have to look at the numbers, see if it gives us a bit of a clue as to you know, who is becoming infected. And then I think we need to look at the messaging and look at our partnerships with our community organizations and say, are these people actually hearing the message? Are we getting it into the, you know, into the right hands? And how do we how do we improve doing that? Totally. How do we scream it from the rooftops? Yes. How do we scream it from the rooftops? <laughs> if I could, I would. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me too.